Hello to everyone, welcome. Welcome to my broadcast in the secret place. It's been a while since I podcast something. And I just want to inform you all that this is the, not the end of my podcast, but other stuff came up. I didn't find the time to do podcasts again. So on a regular basis, you will find new ones. I'm not promised every day, but you will find them on a regular basis. So here I am, Pastor Yeti, in the secret place. And today we're going to talk about Psalm 36. God's limitless mercy overcomes sin. And the key verse in that psalm says, Thy loving kindness, O Lord. O Lord extends to the heavens. Thy faithfulness reaches to the skies. Thy righteousness is like the mountains of God. Thy judgments are like a great deep. Welcome, my dear friends, to all of you. Wherever on the globe you find the time to listen and get comfort by these words of the Psalms. It is like a prayer as we go through. It is like encouragement. Find healing, find comfort, and find forgiveness. When sin is described in the horrible reality of wickedness, depravity, and rebellion against God, it makes God's mercy and loving kindness that much more meaningful. And let me read Psalm 36 to you. I have a message from God in my heart concerning the sinfulness of the wicked. There is no fear of God before their eyes. In their own eyes they flatter themselves. Too much to detect or hate their sin. The words of their mouths are wicked and deceitful. They fail to act wisely or do good. Even in their beds, they plot evil. They commit themselves to a sinful course and do not reject what is wrong. Your love, Lord, reaches to the heavens, your faithfulness to the skies. Your righteousness is like the lightest, like the highest mountains. Your justice like the deep, the great deep. You, Lord, Preserve both people and animals. How priceless is your unfailing love, O God. People take refuge in the shadow of your wings. They feast on the abundance of your house. You give them drink from your river of delights. For with you is the fountain of life. In your life we see light. Continue your love to those who know you. Your righteousness to the upright in heart. May the food of the proud not come against me. Nor the hand of the wicked drive me away. See how the evildoers lie fallen, thrown down, not able to rise. Much is said in the psalm above, what I just said in the 
key verse of Psalm 36, verses 5 and 6. The fear of God, recognizing His Lordship and the exalted nature of His holiness and power, should elicite on awesome fear and respect. Respect that would be a deterrent to ever acting contrary to his holiness and righteous ways. But the sinner is one in whom there is no fear of God before his eyes. The awful power of sin is portrayed. Its self-centered arrogance literally puts one in bondage to destructive behavior and judgment. Transgressing and violating God's laws are appealing to the ungodly. They are flattered by their own independence. There is no wisdom in those who choose sin, nor is there any goodness. Foolishly, they give themselves to wickedness and practice deceit, taking pride in their iniquity. They are so inclined to evil that while lying in bed, their thoughts contemplate and plan a path of sin. Whether the portraits that portrays our heart, our past life, or an occasional indulgence in self gratifying thoughts <coughs> and actions contrary to God's will, it reflects how wonderful God's mercy is. His loving kindness extends further than the heavens and is faithfulness higher than the skies, which means they are limitless. His righteousness rises like a huge mountain, and his judgments over forgiveness and mercy are deep beyond discernment, like the depths of the ocean. We are constantly inclined to sin. It is our nature. That is why God's loving kindness is so precious. That is why we can have refuge from sin and temptation only in His presence and the shadow of His wings. The image that contrasts our salvation are all here because He is light. We are able to move from darkness to light. We are able to drink of the fountain of His grace in abundance. It is only because of His righteousness that we are able to become upright, even within our hearts, dwelling in His house. His presence allows us to experience the abundant, increasing flow of His grace and mercy so that we never succumb to the pride that would lead us to sin. He drives away the wicked who would influence us and draw us away and allow us to see the end result when the wicked have fallen and will be judged. Pray with me. Lord, when you describe the nature of sin and its awful power in our lives, we recognize that it is a picture of our life. It reflects not only who we were before, we knew Jesus Christ. It is even now the inclination of our self-centered pride. And thank you that we can take refuge in the shadow of your wings and that your loving kindness is greater and extends farther and deeper than all our sin. We are not worthy of your mercy, but we drink from the abundant flow 
of the fountain of your grace and rejoice to know to know you and walk in the light of your presence. Amen. May God bless you and protect you. May you take this psalm with you. Think about and pray over it and reflect it to your own personal life. Psalm can be given as poems. Most of the times the Jewish people use it as a prayer book. It's very important how we reflect in the particular time frame in our life where we are. And remember, God is always presence. It is us that sometimes hide ourselves from Him. But the Lord is a healing God. The Lord is a forgiving God. The Lord is all in all. Whatever name we give to God, we will never measure it completely to the expression how God is. May the peace of God be with you and stays with you. And be blessed. Have a wonderful day in your time frame, wherever you are, if it is dark or light, sun shines or rain, it doesn't matter. You are under the wings of God. Blessings and bye-bye.